Backups are very important, especially if you are working on huge projects. So, I cannot enunciate this more, but trust me, you should always backup, 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 and also test your restore plans. On this tutorial, I'm going to explain to you two methods to backup your databases, copying data files and using the MongoDump and MongoRestore programs. So, if you are interested on topics related to data science and big data, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and activate the notification bell to receive all upcoming tutorials. The first backup method that we are going to talk about is one of the easiest, but also one of the most manual. Right now, I'm on the MongoDB directory from where all data are stored. So here, you can see all the files from MongoDB databases. What we're going to do is back these files up. But before doing that, we need to stop rise to the disk to do things right. So we're going to copy those files and then immediately turn them back when we're done. To do that, we go ahead and log to MongoDB on the shell. And then we type the command. And it will tell us that it's now locked against writes. Things are still getting written in the database. They're just in memory right now. So we're going to copy the files so that we don't lose anything in memory. So what we're going to do is copy all these files in the data DB directory. We can do something like this to copy recursively all the data files into where our backup location was. Once the files were copied, we can go back to MongoDB and run the command. And it will tell us that the unlock has been completed. This has an obvious downside. If anything goes wrong in the database during the backup, any non-written data is likely to be lost. However, in many cases, this is manageable risk. In fact, you can just shut down MongoDB completely and then copy the files and start backing up. It has the same results. Or if you have a maintenance window, or even better, if you are using a replica set, which you should be using, you can take on items out of the replica set to do this backup. And this might actually be the best option. And then you can have no downtime at all. In either cases, when you need to resource, simply stop MongoDB, copy the backup files, into your MongoDB directory, removing any existing ones and restart MongoDB. The other method is to use MongoDump and MongoRestore on the bin directory. We can literally run and it will just start spitting the files into dump folder. If I look in this dump folder, I will see that there is a folder for each database and inside there is the files for the collection. If MongoDB not on its default port, you need to specify the port. And you can see more options by running mongodump-help. Because you can actually backup individual databases, individual collection, or even if you are running a query, you can just dump a partial document that match that query. To restore, you could simply run Mongo Restore and give it the dump folder. Remember, it can be a database, a collection, anything. You can go forth and not be afraid of backups. If you learned it from this video, I invite you to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below to inform me about any tutorial that you request on the future. I will also answer all your questions on the comments. Thanks for watching. See you on the next course.